Session two, active labor preparation. So you're going to need your birth ball or fit ball and have it on a non-slip surface like a mat. So using a birth ball during labor is really a great tool to have. It's going to help you manage labor pain. You'll be able to use the ball to get into different positions to help your body get comfortable. You can also get into different positions to create more space in your pelvis. So opening up your pelvis, widening your pelvis so that your baby can come through. And it's a really good tool that you can have with you during labor to work with your body to birth your baby. So highly recommend that you get yourself a ball. So sitting on your ball, you want to be in a good posture, shoulders back, back straight, core turned on. You want to have your legs about a little bit more than hip width apart, your feet grounded. And the first position is obviously just sitting on the ball. So sitting on your birth ball is a really good active rest position for during your contractions. So you can do some bounces and it's just a really good way to relax. The ball feels quite supportive under you and it is definitely a good way to spend that time in between your contractions. So the next thing we're going to practice is your hip circles. So these are a really good way to help your baby move down into the pelvis. It's going to get all that pelvis opening up so that your baby can get through there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do some circles, left and right. So you wanna make sure that your tailbone is really tucked under as you're going around. So you can, I'm doing quite small ones, you can do quite large ones, and then you can rotate the other way. So this actually feels really good. I can feel it stretching all those ligaments out in my pelvis. And other way. So you can work with a number, maybe eight to one side and then eight to the other side. We'll click, that's what I mean. It really helps mobilize your pelvis, get all those ligaments and muscles loose again and other side. So this is a really good one to practice in front of the TV. Ideally, you're not lounging back on the couch every night because that's not gonna help your baby get into a good position for birth. In those final weeks, we really wanna make sure that we're sitting upwards and forwards so that our baby can move down into our pelvis. So the next one we're going to practice is our figure eights on the ball. So we're going to just do a figure eight with our pelvis. Again, you can do them as big or as small as what works for you. And this is really going to help get that baby down into the pelvis. You can alternate. So make sure that you're doing these as well during your labor. You can also do some pelvic tilts, so forwards and backwards. That can relieve just a little bit of tension in your lower back area. So just a deep tuck under and release back, really getting that pelvis moving. And you can also do side to side. So this should feel really good. And so get your birth ball out at night when you're watching TV and practice your circles and then do your figure eights and then do some pelvic tucks. All right, last one that we're going to do is your assisted squat. So if you are not particularly flexible, you do want to start preparing to try and get down into as deep a squat as you can. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be leaning over the birth ball. So you're gonna stand up and you're basically going to get into that squat position and lean over the ball. Now, if you can't get down that low, get yourself a block or a yoga block or some sort of book. And that can give you a little bit more height. 
you can sit on it like that. Now squatting is a great position during labor. It's really going to open up that pelvis and allow that baby to move down. So you lean over the birth ball and you just have this beautiful open pelvis going on. And most women, non-Western women, birth easily because they're so used to squatting. It's just something they do when they're working in the fields, they're in a squat position. So they're naturally very, very flexible and they can do this. So if you can't get all the way down into your squat yet, I recommend just doing some practice. So just practicing opening up that pelvis like this. Just trying to get down into that squat and then Hopefully one day you'll be able to get down deep into this squat. It's not an easy position to be in. It, it's work, it is working those muscles, but labor is also work. So let's try again. Grab your yoga block or your book. If you can't get down, I'm just gonna get into a squat position and leaning over the ball. I can't go all the way down because I've got a mic on. But it's quite relaxing. And if you can do it without the yoga block, maybe you take it down a level and squat like that. And this is obviously not something you're gonna do the whole of labor, but it is a good position to work on. Okay, so that is basically our active labor workshop for today. So being active during labor is really important. We don't really want to lie on our back unless we have to. We want to be moving our body. When we're moving our body through different positions, when we're using tools like birth balls and peanut balls and various other techniques that I'll teach you, this is all going to help your baby to do all the things your baby needs to do to rotate and turn and get through that pelvis to come out to be born.